Hey everyone, today I'll be taking a look at Unit 13, discussing the game as of its latest 1.04 patch on the game's original clock speed profile. First to the game on the Vita's maximum allowed clock speeds made possible by O'Clock Vita. But first, I need to mention a couple of things beforehand. Unit 13 renders its UI at 544p, but the in-game objects are rendered at 408p without anti-aliasing. However, there are some effects that are rendered at an even lower resolution comparable to something you'd find on the PSP's 480 by 272 screen. These effects include sparks from bullet impact and electronics, bullet shells, bullet holes, and debris. On the other hand, other effects, including blood and smoke, are properly adjusted for 408p. Now, in regards to clock speeds, Unit 13 uses the typical profile for 3D titles, clocking the CPU at 333 MHz and the GPU at 166 MHz with O'Clock Vita ramping up the CPU to 444 MHz and the GPU to 222 MHz, this means the game should expectedly receive up to a 33% improvement in frame rates. Unfortunately, this is not enough to rid the game of its frame rate issues. On the game's default profile, Unit 13 can hit 30 frames per second when passing in between areas, but once you reach the next area populated with enemies, the frame rate commonly sees extended periods of being in the high 20s. Unfortunately, the combat only gets worse. When engaging a single enemy, the frame rate will drop into the mid-20s, but when engaged against enemies in closer proximities, it'll drop into the low-20s and can fall into the high-teens, albeit the frame rate will go back up if you're relocating your position. On the maximum profile, traversing is locked at 30 FPS, which is all well, but there is no way the increase in clock speeds was able to fix the combat. The frame rate now often sticks to 30 FPS when engaged against a single enemy, but it will most often be in the mid-20s when engaging with multiple enemies. These inconsistent and low frame rates can lead to an unpleasant experience, but at the same time, the game's aim assist can be generous, which means aiming is not that much more difficult to do. That's all I have, so I'll let the rest of the scenes play out. I hope you found this video helpful, which, if you did, be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with future frame rate tests I'll be performing. Thanks for watching. We can see that one of the journalists is being held in the livestock area, Operative. Go get him. down like the rest of them. Go for it. I'm just